and I would travel down to Providence, Rhode Island. There was a store there called Armageddon Shop, and that's where I discovered the dimensions of a coffin. Uh, I heard about cold meat through the compilation and even the wolves hit their teeth, then it was a bit like next level darkness. Of course, I heard uh, Morty's albums. First, like proper exposure for me uh, was the compilation CD, The Absolute Supper. It was amazing. It was not like anything I was familiar with. It seemed to tie in with the darkness component that I felt was intrinsic to any music that I needed. Bright at Death Now, was probably the most extreme uh, sounding act on that compilation. We were into a lot of death metal, a lot of black metal. This felt a little bit like the shadow side of this, you know, twisted and nightmarish music that we already had come to appreciate. Uh, pretty much opened a new musical world to me with the bleak and dark and Scandinavian melancholy. Particularly uh, regarding Brighter Death Now, uh, Agaptera, uh, and MZ412. There is something very dark and very real and very disturbing that connects all of the acts. I see Brighter Death Now as like the pulsating black heart of, of cold meat industry. There was a strong kinship between the black metal and the, the neo-folk industrial I think there's that same af affiliation and affinity for the death current. There was a connection between uh, particularly black metal scene and uh, electronic industrial ambience uh, scene, and um, uh, the pretty much focal point of that was uh, economic industry. As black metal kind of progressed into something more like, something that became a little bit more normalized and, and a bit lukewarm, you know, at least it, it developed those kind of tendencies towards the turn of the millennia, but, but um, industrial music never really did. I don't like to look at it from overly artsy uh, and uh, over-intellectualized point of view, uh, but whole point of extreme forms of industrial was to, like, push people out of their, of their comfort zone and uh, make them re-evaluate re re uh, everything they know. Feed the fire. Fund the film at soulinflames.com.